Happy Thursday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for 10 minutes of our day. We do it together. Okay, before we jump into today's message, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths. Follow me, breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Okay, say hi, say hello if you're new to me. Drop a comment down below. Uh, My name is Lisa Porto. I am international speaker, public educator, agent trainer, and active licensed California real estate professional, creator, founder of Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation, also host of Ready, Set, Real Estate, which this show, Shift Your Thinking, is a bonus series on our featured channel uh, available on podcasts everywhere. Radio podcasts everywhere, including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Anchor, Stitcher, Breaker, CastBox, and on and on and on. I'm really excited about what today brings. I have been feeling some shifting energies, and it's it's wonderful to know when it's time. When it's time. Okay. So had a long day, so I'm going to do audio only. Enjoy the slideshow in the meantime, at least, you know, I've looked at some of the past video content that I've been doing and, you know, it's kind of boring when I just have one static picture. Uh, I think maybe, uh, you know, I put a slideshow together that way you can see what else uh, I've got going, what's happening and something might resonate and you'd be interested. Make sure you turn on post notifications. uh, That way you don't miss any new episodes as they're uploaded. Want to stay connected with me, learn, uh, grow, share, connect, build, share is what I always say. Feel free to connect with me on all your favorite social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn at LA Super Agent. Also, there is a cool little feature on my site. If you go to lasuperagent.com, there is a box that says, hey, you want to stay Uh, up to date on what I'm creating. Just type in your email and hit submit. There's nothing else to do. You'll go ahead and get uh, any updates on any new webinars, workshops, uh, books that I'm releasing, uh, merchandise, any coupons. As a matter of fact, if you're listening to radio podcasts, you can use podcast. The coupon code, by the way, is podcast. You'll save on most, if not everything that I have available online. Just some perks as well. Okay, we are going to jump into today's message. We are continuing our series from Dean Del Sesto's 200 Ways to Improve Our Lives, uh, Shift Your Thinking, and we are in episode 149. That means we are nearing 41 episodes left, which means that's a little more than another month, and we are going to be moving on to some bigger and better things. And I'm excited about that. And thank you for sharing that journey, this journey with me. I'm captioning episode nine. It's the little things that matter. I'm in a section where he says building relationships with others is not about doing a few big things throughout the year, but a few small things every day, every day, not just showing up this one time, this annual event, and you show up at that time. What about every day? Staying connected, supporting, nurturing, growing together, learning together every day. He says, the more frequently you impact others, the more they know you care. He says, big problems manifest in our lives when we don't pay attention to the small things we should be doing and the small things are bigger than we think. They bring a level of consistency in our impact with others and they let them know that they are important and on our hearts more frequently than a couple of times a year. 
He says they outweigh the big things many to one and the big things we are often forced to do are a cover up for the small things we're not doing. He says, for example, it's easy to go into lazy mode after you do something big for someone, right? I know anyone like that. Are you that person? You feel like, all right, I showed up. I showed up. That was good enough. Mm, not quite when you're nurturing relationships. Oftentimes people say it's not so much about you giving me a gift, but you just being present, right? If you're, if, at least if you're not around people who are too materialistic. He says in some way, we think doing a big thing for someone every now and then buys us time to go back into a relationally comatose state for a while. He says and when the impact of the big thing wears off a few days later, we wonder why that big thing we didn't, we did isn't sustaining the relationship. Type in the comments, sustaining the relationship. And the other person is feeling a lack. Mm. He says, and then when they express the lack, we defend it by saying, well, what about that big thing I did? Uh -huh. How synchronistic this is for me, uh, especially as I examine my relationships and those that I identify supporting, uh, are, are they adding value to me? Are they just draining me? And you gotta be careful of that, right? So I'm in that period where I'm discerning actually my relationships as I'm getting ready to, um, you know, pivot. I'm just ready to pivot. I, you know, I played basketball, I was a point guard. I know all about pivot. And sometimes you have to put pivot. He says, and then when they express the lack, we defend it by saying, well, what about that big thing I did? Big things never will be catalysts for great relationships unless you're doing big things every day. He says, the truth is, that's a bit of overkill because it's not necessary, nor is it realistic. Which leaves the small things. Type in the comments, small things. He says, when it, com when it comes to keeping relationships growing, let alone going, the details are what matter. The little things that let others know we legitimately care about them and that they are front of mind with us. It's these little touch points that make others and you feel honored, loved, and appreciated. Go ahead and type those, those words. Those are power words. Honored, loved, appreciated. So I invite you today, as we are going through our day to day, to think about in what way can you do something small for someone just to be conducive, just to be present in the relationship, just to be in the present, because that's what we have is our relationships, our integrity, showing up and just being there. All right, that's my time. I love you, love you, love you. Have a powerful and productive day. I will see you tomorrow as we continue our series of Shift Your Thinking. Bye. <laughs>